There's rare insight tonight into how the so-called Islamic State recruits its fighters. A Trevor tr treasure trove of documents, believed to be from a defector from ISIS, reveals names and addresses of thousands of recruits, including some from Canada. Eric Sorensen looks at what's being revealed and what it means. It's a stunning trove of secret data on the world's most secretive extremist group. Names and details of 22,000 alleged Islamic State recruits from 51 countries, including Canada. It was acquired by authorities in Germany. The documents, says the German interior minister, are likely authentic. It was also leaked to Britain's Sky News. The files passed to Sky News were obtained in Turkey. This is the man Sky says is responsible for this most devastating breach of ISIS intelligence. He became disillusioned with the extremist group and stole the data on a memory stick. Real names and code names, addresses, whether they're fighters or willing to be suicide bombers, and who recruited them. Invaluable insight into the ISIS network. This is the WikiLeaks of the uh, Islamic State, so it's devastatingly disastrous for them. Most recruits are Middle Eastern, but six are identified as Canadians. The government isn't commenting on them, but noted the importance of monitoring who's coming and going from the region. Uh, both are important, but particularly who's leaving the theater um, and may want to return to, uh, to Canada. The documents show how organized ISIS is, but the leak is a blow to its secretive reputation. It showed also that people are defecting, and this is very important and symbolic. ISIS is already losing territory in both Syria and Iraq. This weapons depot was destroyed this week. The Saudis on one border and the Jordanians on another showed off new military hardware today. The fear remains that ISIS can still strike Western targets, but the data could help identify threats before they're carried out. This would allow the law enforcement apparatus across the world uh, to become much more heavily engaged and begin to help do what we can to stem this flow of foreign fighters. ISIS is still recruiting around the world, but a breach of personal data gives potential recruits and their families something new to think about. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.